pretty clear what happened here. Two days ago was a big vegan debate where a debunker of the Game Changers vegan documentary went up against the creator of the documentary on Joe Rogan's show, which means it was seen by over a million people. It appeared that Game Changers James Wilkes won the debate against Chris Kresser and just dominated throughout most of the two and a half hours. And here are some people who disagree with that. Pretty clear what happened here. Pretty clear what happened here. Joe got a fat ass check from Big Broccoli. This had to have been an extremely frustrating experience for, I would imagine, Chris Kresser. It was just dumb, so. Pretty clear what happened here. He took a beating from a long cucumber after him and Chris trash talked the documentary last week. This whole podcast is orchestrated, scripted. Joe put on his Instagram, James Lightning Wolf knocked it out of the park. It doesn't make any sense. I can't believe that Chris lost this ridiculous argument in front of millions of people. And I think part of it is that Chris Presser just gave up because it's just no use in talking to someone like that. But I think the other thing is that Chris Presser did. If Chris gave up, he gave up in the first minute. He was the same throughout the whole. Well, actually, I haven't gotten more than 20 minutes in. So he gets worse. <laughs> Uh, documentary or whatever, but he should never be in a discussion like this uh, again. I, I hate to just overgeneralize and be like, oh, that's vegan malnutrition that made him act that way. But, I mean, he, he was worse than vegan gains in, his, in vegan gains old debates. Let me know what you guys think about the document about the, uh, about the debate or whatever the hell. And now, here is the excuse reel. It doesn't make any sense. And James Wilk doesn't understand evidence. He's manipulating uh, the evidence here. Or manipul manipulating the audience by saying something so foolish. And the really funny thing is, vegan people who see that, they're just going to believe it. Chris didn't have the opportunity to speak. I, I just saw the frustration in his mind because you're talking to a guy who's like, a wall that doesn't really understand. It's far too complicated to illustrate to an audience in most cases. The loudest voice in the room is the one that tends to be heard, not the smartest voice. James Wilkes arguing and talking over Chris Kresser in a very aggressive tone. So the soy boy vegan was too aggressive and it caused everyone else to just shut down? Pretty clear what happened here. I don't understand why this vegan moron keeps bringing up that Chris's studies are industry funded so that they are invalid when he literally has a golden cucumber dildo up his tushy. Scientific bases that these vegans use to justify their position. It's funny how people say we should listen to the government about diet. Well, again, something is funny here. I'm laughing as I'm editing this. He's being political right there, the irony. <laughs> It's not really the government. They're technically government organizations, maybe created by the government. But it's not like this information is coming straight from Pelosi and Trump. These are scientists. If we were to listen to non-government sources, well, you'd still run into the same problem. You'd run into people like Bart and Frankie Boy here. They're independent. I'm independent. Am I a better source? So let's forget all this political stuff from Frankie. Here's some more excuses in print. Here's some guy saying that James is on Adderall and it is to mask his brain fog. And that's an excuse for why he was the sharpest one in the room. I wasted three hours of my life. I didn't. You did. <laughs> and unprofessional. He is an unprofessional. He is not a professional. He doesn't owe any of you retards a soft soy boy target to knock out. James was attacking Chris's character and not talking about the issues. Well, in that case, the issue was Chris's character. That he's, he is a BS artist. Uh, same thing here. Excuses, excuses. And then the whole time, James Wilkes was like, right, Joe Rogan? Right, Joe Rogan? Like, right? 
I'm, I'm right, aren't I? How am I doing defending my film? Am I doing good? And then, and he was just like, oh yeah, look, this is what Chris Christopher always does. Chris is a manipulative, manipulative liar. Chris is a is an acupuncturist, non nutrition expert. We got Chris Master John onto the podcast, and he fuck he fuck Wilkes up. He fuck up Wilkes and any other scientist they brought on. Master John's master course goes in depth into the antioxidant system. You'll understand why this motherfucker is just plain foolish bringing up all this nonsense about me. It's a pro-oxidant, blah, blah, blah. Tweedledum starts talking about protein, blah, blah, blah. James Wilkes appeals to the authority of the American Dietetic Association, Heart Association, you know, talking about how all of these experts in their field are saying that a plant-based diet is the best. It makes sense as to why people think vegetables are good for you, you know, why people are going vegan, why the diet has so much momentum. It's not the scientific consensus. It's not the scientific consensus. If you guys haven't seen James Wilkes on some UK TV shows, he was crucified by Piers Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Piers Morgan? Diet is not his specialty. I don't think he even has a specialty, besides being a jerk. This vegan should put his clown shoes back on and squeeze into an electric car. Here, Frankie is trying to take possession of the use of the word clown and clown world as an insult to others, when the irony is that the word carnivore is so close to carnival. And they are indeed the ones in the clown car headed to the bank. Plug me in, baby. And now we come to the part of my video where we show Frank and Redbeard admitting that Chris lost parts of the debate. Chris got crucified in this B12 argument because he didn't really have any solid counters. He made Chris Kressler look like a bitch after like the two hour mark. Um, he actually was kind of wrong on a lot of things. Um, he didn't really have any rebuttals to the protein thing. Didn't have any rebuttals on the... Uh... It's because he got beat, son. <laughs> we vegans always win the protein debate. The science, the consensus points to a health foods, plant-based diet being what is healthy. He said it, you know, fast in a pretty soft voice. And they were kind of stupid points on James Wilkes' part anyway, but... You yeah. just didn't get it. People didn't get what James was doing. Sure, Chris probably didn't want to get it, but Joe just seems like he's brain dead over there. Seems pretty tired, Joe. You have to wonder if maybe Chris Crusher just gave up, right? So, I don't know, honestly. And most people aren't going to watch the entire podcast because of how fucked up James Wilkes was for most of that time. <laughs> I just need, I really want to see Chris Master John on there. Chris did make an incorrect statement, you know, saying that B12 wasn't fed to cattle. And James made him admit he was wrong in a fairly humiliating fashion and that much big broccoli funding behind you. The literature is garbage and biased. This whole podcast is orchestrated, scripted, and intended to be inconclusive. Maybe we should get Frankie Boy to argue with the vegan on the Joe Rogan podcast. Other carnivores have had their chances already, not illustrating any knowledge or research whatsoever. Send Joe a tweet or message on Instagram, leave a comment on the YouTube debate. Yeah, you heard that right. Frankie Boy is saying that he would make the best debater among the carnivores. That reminds me of a post I made yesterday to one of these carnivore fools who said that carnivores would make better debaters than regular paleo low carvers. They went back and forth on this nonsense dairy study, but the truth is we shouldn't be looking at epidemiological studies for results. We should look at the mechanism. Again, that would be nice, but we can't always have enough mechanistic data. That's why we have other types of studies. 
And in conclusion, here's where Frankie Boy agrees with me that all this debating and arguing is nonsense. We use that same word. They start arguing about protein in a peanut butter sandwich versus a steak. Like, who cares? Nothing is being said here. James keeps talking about his nutrition research, his team, his advisors, how much he studies this information, but it's all nonsense. James actually brings up the nonsense study. Breaking apart the Game Changers movie. James Wilkes was the producer of that movie. I can understand that he was extremely upset. Well, with that being said, the way that he handled the entire debate is not, not very intelligent, it's not civil, it's not adult-like. If his goal was to prove his points, he did a horrible job he did a kick-ass job of um, doing so to the audience. So if his job was just to convince and persuade uh, Joe Rogan's audience. The movie was to do that. And it did. This was just revenge. We got you bastard. You know, about his position and his points, his attitude ruined that for him. Uh, oh, poor baby. The poor babies got hurt by the soy boy. They got their feelings hurt. Bypass all this crap and start living the good life. Your first step is to subscribe to this channel make sure you click that bell so you'll be notified when I make these great videos.